Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 98. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 91 to 99. Hey, trick 98, we want to look at a calendar and how to apply conditional formatting for a two week period. Now, what we'd like to do is we have our, our serial dates here and then our list of things to do down in these cells. And we would like these highlighted when whatever date is here is a one week before today or one week after today. So we want a two week period highlighted. The first thing is we have to highlight all of the uh, white cells, not the cells with the dates. Those are the labels. So I'm going to highlight this first row at the bottom very carefully and then hold control. That'll allow us to highlight cells n not right next to each other called non-contiguous. And then also I want to keep that light colored cell there at the top, the last cell. Now we can apply conditional formatting with the true false formula. In 2003, you have to go to formatting, conditional formatting. In 2007, you go to home, styles, conditional formatting. In all versions, the keyboard shortcut cut, Alt-O-D works. Then click New Rule and click Formula. In 2003, you have to click that first text box which says Is Formula. Now let's click down here. And here's our formula. It's going to be an AND. and this cell right here is the cell that we're starting in and copying it over and down. Notice this cell is looking one cell above. So for example, when it's down here, it's looking at the date right above. Then it's subtracting 7 to go to one, be one week before. Then we're going to say, is that less than or equal to? Oh, and we're going to put the today function. That's an argumentless function. Just the word today and then a open parentheses, close parentheses. That's the first test. And then comma on the and, and we have the cell right above plus 7. So that's going one week into the future. And that has to be greater than or equal to today. Both of those things have to be true. Then we click Format, More Colors. I'm going to click some bright green. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Wow, lots of OKs in 2007, and click OK. And there you have it. We have highlighted the uh, one week because today is into July. So what is it? It's Oh, no, it's June 30th. So a two-week period, This is these are the days after. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I were to type uh, 7 slash 4 slash 2008 here, that would turn up green. If I typed 7 slash 15 slash 2008, that would not be green because it's too far into the future. All right, that's a little bit of conditional formatting for a calendar using the today function. All right, see you next Excel trick.